Good morning. Well, I guess I'm here to do another tutorial. So, basically, I was commented on a few questions, and this one was like in regards to how to do jumps. It's like with every other special details, everything requires events. So, I'm going to demonstrate this on my project game right now, and Basically, let's just go through and find out what I did. Okay, so just to remember where I put the um, where I put the event, I set the tile to the um, the dead bones right there, and always remember to keep your events to below hero if you want to walk over it, and set it to either action key or touch by hero. And, well, action key, as you probably should know, will only allow the, the event to work by pressing enter or spacebar, whereas if it's touched by hero, it will only work if, well, it will work as long as you step on it without needing the press the action key. So here's another thing. So in order to start the jump under event commands, look under section two and then click on to move event. What happens is you'll get this window to pop up. Now here's another thing real quick before I continue. Under this tab right here, movement frequency. Let's see. This will only work for the event, but um, so you don't need to tinker with this. But I want to let you know basically, by default, your normal character's this moving speed is going to be normal. So you want to know how many steps it takes to get to the slowest speed. So you go one, two, three. Okay, I'll take three steps to get to the slowest speed. And there's a reason for this. So as you're at the move event thing, be sure the event name is hero so it affects only your character. You start off by decreasing the speed. It's right on the bottom left. So you decrease speed a certain amount of times. And there is a good reason for this. But I'll explain later. So you decrease speeds and then on the top right you click the begin jump button. It shows right there. And then you can move your character any direction if you want them to jump downwards click the move down button on towards the top right the third from the top the uh, top left sorry the third from the top so I'm making him jump down four times and then you click the end jump button and then you increase the speed back to the players as normal speed and I did that to make the jump seem a bit more realistic whereas like you can see the action he's act that he or she is actually doing whereas I left this one jump back to the previous location but the only exception is I did not add the increase or decrease speed just to demonstrate how much more faster he's jumping and how less realistic it seems. Always remember to verify every single thing. Decrease movement to begin with, increase to end with. Action key below hero. Action key below hero and let's go demonstrate 
the movements. Map has changed since it was last saved. Save it now, yes. Start a new game. No wind chill. Let's demonstrate my character. So, as you can see, Bones is right here. Bones is right here. You gotta forgive the staticky movements and stuff. It's because I'm recording with Cam Studio and I'm doing the full screen mode. So, let's demonstrate the speed here. So, let's press enter. Notice how gracefully he goes that way. And look how much faster he goes the other way. So, just verify. One, two, one, two. So yeah, that's the reason why you gotta tinker with the thing a bit. You could make him jump fast. You can make your own character jump fast if you like, but I prefer to slow down the animation just for the sake of making it look nice. And, well, that's that. And I hope this tutorial is very helpful. And... If you have any more questions, I'll feel free to create a video for it. Other than that, um, I recommend just tinkering with things yourself, just to kind of get an idea of like what does what, and yeah, eventually, like Everything should become like second nature to you once you get the hang of things. But if you need any more help, just let me know. And if I can find a definite answer for it, then I'll try to create another video. But for now, yeah, just give it a shot on your own and... See what you can do with it. Thank you. Have a nice day.